Welcome back. We are at the drag strip. That's right, the Troopy is running and we are at the drag strip. Now, I'm having a little issue. You're looking at the mount and I can't figure out what I've done differently. Maybe, I don't know. We'll figure that out throughout the course of the night. But for now, that's our view and that's what we're gonna have. Hopefully you can see the tree when we get close. So we've got some rattles. I don't know what's rattling back here, but it's annoying me. Um, all pressure gauge works sometimes and every time it reads it's reading between 60 and 70 something so that's good but when it's not reading it's concerning so i'm going to figure out a solution for that throughout the course of the night first run first second and we'll just see how it feels from there i don't not planning on a full quarter mile for the first run because i don't know where the timing's at i don't know where my fueling's at because it's been fully apart we've been down to nothing and started again so We'll uh, get up here in line and have a go. That's what we're here for. Have a play and I'm hoping by the end of tonight I can do a full quarter under power and we'll find out what we're made of again. Well, not me. Or you. What the car. What the car's made of. Yeah, the car. By, by, that's by we, I mean all of us together. In the car. Let's get up here. Pound of fuel pressure to the fuel pressure regulator. 
like it needed a lot more fuel, but we're just trying that first. If we give it more fuel there, then next after this run, we'll check it again. And if it needs, I don't know, I can add, change the metering rods over in five minutes, we can have better fuel, more fuel, and have another go. But yeah, oil pressure gauge still doing weird things. I need to. I think what I'm going to do is run through a fuse block now. I'll run it over to a different power supply and just hardwire it in on a switch. See if that fixes it. If that doesn't fix it, then it's, uh, I don't know what we do after that. Yeah, so. Anyways, let's roll forward and see what happens. It does sound better. Let's just hope it keeps going. <laughs> Got to record the run because yeah it's just me doing non-youtube things so uh this is me i tried that second gear launch it was terrible won't be doing that again so really bad off the line and then at two three to the 60 foot that's horrendous so yeah it's gone but 986 to the um eighth 73 mile an hour 90 mile an hour is my best it over the line so far so so gonna do a quick read on the plug, see if I need to do anything with fuel, and if nothing, we're just gonna send her again and have another go. All right, I'll pull out number one, because it's the easiest, and do a quick check. So this plug definitely could do with timing, but um, fuel-wise, I think it's either near on perfect or could do us to the tad. It's hard to say. It's still got that brownish tinge to it. It should mean unburnt fuel. But whether that's just on the way back, seeing I've got to drive it back from the other end, I don't know. Oh, one of my competitors is not running and getting pushed off the track. Alrighty, let's have a quick chat and see what we can come up with doing this. Right, we're going straight back in. Um, this time, I'm going to do what I used to do and uh, not hit um, pause. So that's a trap every time.
Oh, is it broken? That's a 14 x 3 